thumbnail's obvious what's happening here and uh i said there's a third unit on the channel now that will be featured didn't tell you who the owner is yet it's my nephew brantley got a paper out and got this you gonna say hi <laughs> sorry the hood dude the the probably the same thing that was under yours no cool yeah, exactly. no it's good Days later. Woo! Excited to be making this video. This is actually my fourth time shooting this section of video. This week, technology is just kicking my ass. Here we are, attempt number four at this. Uh, the very first attempt, I liked it. It's the day this machine was purchased. Problem was me on that one, not so much technology. I kept calling this machine a Pro XP. This is a 2021 Polaris Razor Pro XP, and it's obviously not that. This machine is a 2021 Polaris Razor XP 1000 Trails and Rocks Edition. <laughs> So whose machine is this? Well, this machine here belongs to someone that hates my driving. And hates my driving is probably an understatement. This individual really hates my driving. This individual is my wife. You've probably seen her in the background of some of the videos. Riding passenger is not her thing. It never was. So that means going forward, she does not get to hide in the background of videos. She's gonna be driving this unit here. What all comes on a Trails and Rocks Edition Razor? The first thing, and it, in my opinion, it's the coolest thing, uh, is something that you can't just bolt on. It is something anyone can buy from Super ATV or whatever other companies make them, uh, it's gear reduction. This unit has a 55% lower low gear than the stock razor. I'm super jealous. You can see the arch here and the A-arms, they're high clearance A-arms. Out back, you get high clearance radius rods. I'll get you a close up of both of those right now. So you got gear reduction, you got ground clearance, what about protection? They got you on that too. Uh, since we're standing right here, you got some rock sliders. They are some sort of metallic rock slider. When you look at the stats on this machine and the features, it says full skid plate. Well, the Pro XP says full skid plate. And uh, if you haven't seen the videos before this, go watch them. Uh, it doesn't do much of anything. It's straight trash. So I didn't have high hopes for this one, but 
they proved me wrong. I'm just gonna show you. I'll, uh, I'll send you underneath the machine. I said, get under the machine. So what you're looking at here is a 3 eighths of an inch thick HMW skid plate. And I'm showing you around right now. It's full coverage. Uh, like I said, super surprised by this. Super happy with this. This unit comes with 30 inch Pro Armor Crawler XGs. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know much about them. They give you these tires mounted on some 14 inch bead locks. This unit also comes without a front sway bar. There is one still on the rear, but nothing in the front at all. Next one is a little protection, little cosmetic, the bumper. You don't get full coverage covering the body here, which is obviously still easy to damage, but uh, it's better than nothing. And then it also has two holes to mount a light bar. Something you may have noticed just by me walking around and you taking a look at the machine, but it comes with a winch from the factory. It is one that mounts over the diff. It's a 4,500 pound winch with a synthetic rope. Most people get a side-by-side -side and they add a winch. And then there's the rest of the people that don't and they get a side-by-side -side and they wish they added a winch. So I showed you the winch on this machine. It obviously has the in and out button on the dash here, but in here, they give you a wired remote that plugs in right back there. Another cosmetic slash protection piece that comes from the factory on this unit are your lower door inserts. Uh, yeah, it's cosmetic. There is some safety aspect. It will stop some shit from flying in there. Mostly mud, so it's something that she probably would have added anyways. I think this is the first year that these come on the Trail and Rocks Edition Razor, and it's the Fang Lights. I will hit you with a clip of what they look like when they're on, and then when they're on, and it's pitch black out. So check that out now. Now you're probably wondering, does this just have a regular razor interior? The answer is kind of. Uh, there's a few added features. Most importantly though, getting your harnesses. This unit comes with the Click 6 six point retractable harness, which is nice. Uh, because you can see, you can lean forward and kind of look to see where your front end is. You can kind of better aim your tire, driver side tire, but then if you get into some shit, it locks. This unit here comes with a mirror. Being able to see behind you in some sort of capacity is always a good thing. And then, uh, you know, if you need to make sure you're uh, looking fresh, you can do that too. As you guys can see, I'm always looking fresh. So straight from the factory, they set you up with uh, some sort of gated shifter. Obviously not a fancy aftermarket one but it is technically gated. This color is awesome. It's called Polaris Blue. If you think it looks sharp on video or in pictures, it looks better in person. I love this color. I think that's it on this unit. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. The first time I did this, I was pretty prepared and I had some notes. Oh man, I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do. I no longer have those notes, so uh, you would think doing this video four times, I'd have it 
all up here, but not always the case. Just wanted to do a walkthrough on the factory equipment, show you the difference between the Trails and Rocks Edition, or as I like to call it, Rocks and Trails Edition, and a regular XP-1000. Uh, just so you know, I wasn't sure. I kind of knew it was like more of like a, a rock crawling setup, but I never read anything, because you might look at the price tag and be like, well, that f***ing thing just has bead locks. Good for that. You know, or a winch, but there's quite a bit to it. So, wanted to share that with you guys. And obviously, the excitement that we have a third unit on this channel, uh, which is just, it's crazy. For a while, after I went for a ride in Dude's first Razor, which was a, a 1000 XP4, I was instantly in love and I didn't actually think I'd ever have one of my own. And now there's gonna be two in my garage. And uh, we're also the type of people that would go on vacation and not even take a single picture. And here we are with a YouTube channel. So it's all kind of crazy to me, uh, especially the last six months or so has been nuts, but it's so much fun. Uh, I really enjoy it. If you like what we do, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your mailman, tell them all. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey guys, how you liking the unit? Hey, how do you like it? Hey, what do you feel about it? <laughs>